what up guys well d-day has arrived i got all the parts except the cam plate and oil pump that fedex is saying will be here today i hope i don't want to leave this shit all open so i've gotten to the point uh, of here i started taking the, this um oh man i'm having a brain fart i can't think of the name you know what it is <laughs> I got the two plugs out on the other side um, so if you get yourself to this part which is easy exhaust air cleaner plugs um, I got the bike jacked up obviously so I can spin the tire probably gonna be a long boring video <clears throat> but I want to do step by step um, because there's not even uh, any for a fueling cam plate and oil pump I could, I could find one video so, you know, I like to do a, a detailed um, video to try to help the next guy out <clears throat> succeed doing this job and saving a saving thousand dollars of labor is what my local dealer told me. Eight hour day at 125 an hour, which is, uh, yeah, no, fuck that. Uh, and it's just better to work on your own stuff, I think, in my opinion. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather fuck it up than have someone else. But that's just me. Alright, well, let's get to it. Bear with me. I'm going to try to edit this the best I can. I'm going to do it probably in three parts. The tear down, um, inspecting everything will be the second part crank run out doing crank run out um i didn't i got i'm improvising with that with a magnet um holder with a dial indicator because i didn't want to spend a hundred dollars on the tool or 120 on the tool that i'm gonna do use once the other dial indicator i can use on other stuff for my job on an auto mechanic so all right make sure you guys can see this thing here a lot of the videos are not up close so these covers if you just kind of push down a little bit push down on this collar a little bit and then that will come right out. And remember, I have never done this before on a Harley. So, if uh, I'm doing this with instructions from other people, manuals, um, product, directions from fueling and SNS so easy on the comments and I'm curious to see the time this is pretty simple shit those just lift right up Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> and that will expose your lifters. Alright, I'm going to mark these so we can see the how to get it on the base circle because some of the videos aren't very clear on this there's a couple different ways to do this this is the way I'm choosing because it seems the easiest to me so with it in sixth gear, jacked up, 
you want to spin the tire. Man, that's the hard part. I'm gonna put this camera down for a sec, guys. Turn it. You want to see the intake go up and down, and then the exhaust up and down. And as the exhaust is coming down, there's going to be like a little limbo mode where they both want to come up. So you'll spin the tire back and forth. There's the in exhaust. Sorry. There's the intake. So right there. See how they're both. See how they're both like kind of in limbo right there. That means that the front is on the base circle. You should be able to spin the rod. I can. So that means that these are ready to cut. Well, I hope that's what that means anyways. had some 12 inch bolt cutters and I'll tell you what no 14 inch 14 inch and it is pretty hard to pull those back and cut it so I went and got 24 inch getting into some shit over here now oh boy see control the o-ring now piece of fucking cake man twenty fours cut it way better Why is this thing not going in there very well? Try to be careful not mar up your blocks. And I'm not, I couldn't find these. So. go I'm not digging the water in here it's probably because the condensation where I keep the bike when I put the heat up condensation from things being cold is just out of control it sucks I need a garage <clears throat> before I forget come up in here and get your o-rings They're stuck in there pretty good. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing, my bad. 
O-ring is. Let me see if I can get up in there well. Yeah, nobody ever shows you way up, up deep in there. That's where this O-ring comes out of. Take a pick or screwdriver or whatever and just get that out of there so we don't forget. One, two, all right. Got ease. So now we're going to switch. We're going to spin the tire. Put our fingers in here. You want um, intake up, down, exhaust, up down and right as they're in limbo they're going up and down up and down together like you'll have to take the tire back and forth and you'll see them going together um, then you can cut the rear there is exhaust going up There's the intake right there. Right there. That's that was really easy to find. Don't be scared about that. Just and if you don't keep spinning it again, and um you'll you'll feel it when you go back and forth. I'll say it again just so you guys we're all on the same page. Um Intake up, down, exhaust up, down, and then it'll get into a stage where they're both kind of ready to go up and down. You'll you'll spin the tire forward and back, and you'll feel them going uh, up and down. And then these are ready to cut. So it'll be a little easier to get in there with that out. Make sure that's all the way up in there. Yeah. Crap. a little tricky back there with the exhaust on Hey, there's that head temp sensor. All right. Winner, winner. Check 
Dinner. Three sixteenths. Yeah. All right, this is going to be long and boring. I'm going to take a break here. And I probably have to do these by hand in the back there. And I gotta set up a layout blanket to put all this stuff, so we'll return. <sighs> Cheap plastic that can go in the garbage. see where the holes are like I said they look like it's pointing back back the holes here the front of the bike so I'm sorry front of the bike this is the front front cylinder that but there's a little bit of wear on them 7,000 miles I mean probably nothing to be too uh, worried about but better to go new I got the fueling HP plus they were under 200 bucks I figured I'm gonna put all new stuff in here so doesn't make sense to cheap out now on crucial internal parts Facing, all of them are facing to the front of the bike. That's important, guys. I'm curious to see what the cam looks like.
go away. That don't seem right to me. gouge
be right back guys way to not make a mess here like a band-aid just kind of rip it off There it is. Thought I cracked the case. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Amazon walking Milky shit in here, man. Not digging it, not digging that. I don't know how that would have got there. I mean, I take care of this thing like two thousand mile oil changes. Things a piece of shit. 
鞋。Amazon tool that said works for Milwaukee eights does not work. Fifteen dollar doesn't make you holla. Am I doing this wrong? No way, man. Twenty-seven coming up. Pretty good. A little bit of wear in there, but nothing too too crazy. I'm all right with that.
still with me? Yeah, you are. I'm sorry. Boring. It's important though. up the dots that's why the tool wasn't fitting in there well it was a snug fit too but dot on the cam gear and the dot on the uh, crank okay so far so good facing in. Take 
the oil pan, I mean pump bolts out. This, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Take it all out in one unit. So just the outers. Or if any of these are different size, oh, I'm already taking the wrong bolt out. They all appear to be the same size. I have the updated pump. If anybody wants the setup, the 20, 2020 upgraded, you pay the shipping and you can have it for free. Just hit me up.
looking good in here so far. lifter looked like that's for sure there's no scarring on this at all nice that's what we wanted to see nice 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 cam plate and oil pump are still not here I think FedEx fucking lied to me Alright guys, I'm gonna do some cleanup. Clean my rags and the timing chain cover. Then I'm gonna get back to you. I'm not doing anything important. Um, so next, after I get cleaned up and reorganized here, we're gonna measure crank run out without the proper tool. So let's see how that goes. And do the swap over the inner cam bearing. Alright, I'll see you guys.